Welcome back to the Malvern Hills. You should be able to see a beautiful sunset behind me. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit late to capture that this evening, but what I'm after is a lovely blue hour landscape looking from Black Hill towards a British camp slash Herefordshire Beacon. Let's do it. I'm watching the sun fade behind me, I'm currently hiking up Black Hill and I can see to the south British Camp slash Herefordshire Her 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 Beacon which is a lovely hill, old hill fort. It's got lovely cuts in the landscape and we're actually seeing quite a lot of haze tonight so I'm hoping that the sun is going to light that up a bit and if not we'll wait for the sky to clear and for the stars to come in and that's probably what and that's what I'm really after is a blue hour shot. Right, I've actually come back down the hill a little bit, trying to get out of the wind, uh, and I could, just couldn't find a composition that I wanted. Anyway, time to get the gear out. Right, that is the camera all set up. I have a lovely composition of British camp uh, in the lower third of my frame, and I'm just trying to capture all that lovely sky as we go into the blue hour. Now it's time to uh, take a few frames and hopefully capture a good shot. Right, the light is now a remnant, and before we lose the absolute last of it, I think we should go through the camera settings. So I have my 20mm lens on, I'm at f8 because it's my IAS lens, and that's where it is sweetest, is at f8. Um, I am at ISO 100, I'm on automatic white balance, and my shutter speed is varying because I am uh, stacking this shot, so I'm going to vary my shutter speed to find the best exposure. Right, I've been shooting this landscape now for a little while and we've basically lost all the light now and we're going into the starlit night sky. So it's now time to change the aperture down to 2.8 or open the aperture up to 2.8 uh, and bump the ISO up to about 3200 and, and see if we can capture a night landscape. Right, we lost all the light now. It's actually gone quite chilly on this hill now the sun's gone in. I think I've got what I need in the can. I actually changed my camera to a portrait orientation because it was really nice to capture the stars above uh, British camp. Uh, I think I've got what I need. I was actually shooting at f2.8, ISO 1600, a few seconds each frame, and I was stacking those frames up. So I've got about 10 frames under each exposure bracket. So that then means I can take that back and use a dark frame and then add those frames together and get rid of a lot of noise which gives a really clean image. So I think that's it from me now, I think I've got everything that I need, I think it's time to pack down and get off this hill. <laughs> 